High school wrestling now. The Tennessee State duels are next weekend in Franklin. Cleveland is ranked number one in the overall state rankings, no surprise, and the Blue Raiders will be the team to beat. The Raiders are like just about every other high school team you know, close-knit, tight, but one Cleveland wrestler is certainly an inspiration to one and all. John Madewell has his story. Nate Schilling is an intriguing part of perennial powerhouse Cleveland. The Blue Raiders won state the last two years. They're ranked number one in the state right now. Now Nate struggled on the mats in middle school and only became a full-time starter this year, his last year. He's now ranked number four in the state. He was just one of those guys that loved the sport, uh, wanted to work hard, wanted to do, saw something in himself and he wanted to change it. Two years ago, Nate lost his older brother, Zeke. They were only two years apart and very close. Really like changed my life completely because and gave me a new outlook because you never know what's going to happen. Nate wants to make the most out of his final go for himself, but more for his brother. Because I want to be able to win state for him this year. Coach Knox says Nate checks off all the intangible boxes to be a state champ. The best wrestler does not always win an individual state title. It's the guy who wants it the most, is the most prepared, and, and has made the most sacrifices. That's Nate. He commits six hours a day to the sport he loves. Over the summer, he went to Fargo, North Dakota for the nation's hardest freestyle and Greco tournament. And the memory of his brother Zeke continues to push him. Try and take uh, some of that pain and heartache out on the mount and just also through talking to my mom and stuff like that. Spoken like a champion to be. John Madewell, News Channel 9 Sports.